what a wonderful gift this film is. When the day is done, my mind turns to her and I think, why are we to be separated? Hey, Lupe. Hello, Hello. how are you, gals? Good, good. good how are good, you? you? I'm good, thank you. Well, such a beautiful film. I was really taken by the whole story. And let me just say that narration was just out of this world. Usually narration is used to give you like an alternate kind of view of what you're seeing. Mm. But that inner voice from Abigail, who you play, Catherine, it was just so beautiful. I mean, was that always in the script or was that device used to, you know, bring out her emotions? Oh, no, yeah. it was always in the script. So it's something that we... Um, we really worked hard on, on making it, a, you know, just this equal part of the film, not something, as you said, not something tacked on to, to drive the story, but just another um, way into to, um, uh, Abigail's inner life. And uh, yeah, so that's, it was always part of it. And uh, um, Catherine did such a beautiful job uh, 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 with that as well. Yeah. yeah, Catherine, yes. can you talk about that? I mean, not only it's a period piece uh, set in the mid 19th century, talking about isolation and feeling mm. a void, but it's so modern. I mean, those feelings are just you can still feel it. Mm. So what was it like, yeah. like espousing those words? I mean, I, I think on the first read of the script, when I saw that first page and I, I read the first lines of the voiceover, I was so struck by, yeah, how internal they read, how private those thoughts felt, and then struck by the notion that, of course, all these women whose stories have gone on record, unrecorded, mm -hmm. you know, had their passions, their desires, their um, longings for, <laughs> you name it, options in life. Um, the world beyond the few miles of their farm, you know, um, dreams, a uh, desire to be educated, you know, all of these things we have today that we do take for granted. And I thought, what a wonderful gift this film is to um, recognize them and to recognize mm -hmm. that, the, like, like with this particular woman, all the, the richness of the individual human experience, you know, and that is, that is, yes, that is entirely timeless and universal. You know, uh, it's very rare to see it articulated on film and, and, and so, so beautifully as I felt it had been done with this script. Um, and something that I think we all relate to, the gulf between what goes on in our minds and what, with what we dare to, to show the world. Um, yeah, so I, I was incredibly moved by it and it was a great, experience to try to work it out try to find what that voice would sound like that deeply private internal voice that no one's hearing you know that um that one place where abigail is truly free um i loved i loved working on it it was a total joy now i was shocked when uh the two writers jim shepherd and ron hansen i'm like they're men like, i you, know did you guys <laughs> tweak it at all i mean or i mean <laughs> It's, yeah. it's a testament to the power of the imagination, though, no? I mean, really brilliant artists can, and this is what we, we as performers do, yeah. right? We imagine beyond, beyond our own experience and try to represent others and try to understand how they might be. And um, as a lifelong exercise, it's so important to me. I feel like it helps me uh, appreciate and uh, sympathize with people who have very different experiences than I do but I was shocked too I did look back I was like did I just read that right how do they know <laughs> yeah Mona can you tell me no this? no they, they were very collaborative it was a very collaborative process once you know they had written this beautiful love story that is also but you know what it's interesting even to have Jim's to, short story yeah it you know it's great and and I think that um you know, they were very uh, open to, to, you know, to, to looking at things that I wanted to talk about, like, you know, like motherhood and childbirth and, and, you know, the, the sexuality and all those things. Um, but also, I just think that they, I like that these men of a different generation than me were talking about a great, fantastic, exciting uh, connection, friendship. Uh, as well as as all the other you know things mm -hmm. that, that that attracts these two women 
but I like, I like that perspective so much. Mm -hmm. Um, I really enjoy that. And I think because they are who they are and they are, you know, have the experience they have and live longer than I have, then they have this different perspective on that, which I just really, Mm -hmm. I I love that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they worked on the screenplay for 15 years. So, you know, when you get to show up on set with something that people have tended to like that, it's it's Mm. it's an honor. And like we had it was so electric on set, you know, not just us, but the costume designer, everybody's like, but the script, the script's so good. And it Mm. unifies everybody and gives a buzz and I think makes Mm. everybody go that extra mile and work harder. So we are we are indebted to them in that sense. And obviously. I'm forever indebted to Mona for sending it my way. Well, thank you so much. It was a wonderful experience to watch and thank you so much for the interview. Thank Thank you. you. Astonishment and joy. Astonishment and joy.